Got mosquitoes all in the garage this morning. Try to come outside while it's nice and warm for y'all today real quick. So this is getting ready to be it. This is our first arcade rebuild unit. That's what I'm getting ready to call this. I can't say this is a 100% custom build by me. This is getting ready to be a rebuild unit. So right now, she's empty. You got nothing inside of her. I'm going to put this down there. But right now, she's completely empty. I don't have the key to get inside there. So the wires is looking pretty cruddy, pretty bad. Point counter. I think that's what this is. I'm not even sure what half of this stuff is right here. We're getting ready to rebuild this thing. Make it nice and pretty. Don't got a lot to work with. I'm gonna start pulling stuff off. We'll take this off right here. Nothing too special. I threw her on the dolly so I can start swinging her around because I got so much I got to do to it before I break it down. Just the back of it, just to show y'all, she's completely empty. We got nothing inside this unit right here. This is a bare unit. I'm lying. We do got um, a little bit of the power supply left. So we're gonna go inside of here. We're getting ready to scrub her down, clean it, vacuum it out, clean up the wires, make sure everything's all good, and we're gonna restore this unit all the way back to make a nice, good, and sexy unit. So that's gonna be my first one. I got two projects going on right now. We got this, and then we got the Raspberry Pi. We got the Raspberry Pi. I'm trying to figure that out. See where we're gonna go with that one. Don't pay too much attention to this time prices like this. This time prices, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. This time prices might just become a, we don't know. Right now she's here, projects, follow along on this one, this is the first one. Either it's gonna be something pretty or it's gonna be a waste of my time or we're gonna have to wind up throwing it away, so. All right, here we go. And we gotta think of a name for this girl too, so. She does have some brackets and all that stuff up here. The majority of everything else is gone. So again, I don't know what wires still work with this, what stuff doesn't work, but we're gonna pop her together, get it right. Before we clean this right here, again, cause I know I stay at Walmart. I love getting me some Walmart and Amazon products. So good old Dirt Devil, she's been through everything. So she should be able to clean up this inside of this right here. So Walmart dirt double. So this is the current control deck that we got that we're getting ready to start messing with right here. Half of the buttons in this are pretty shot. Like this one's not really working. I can already tell that now. This one's iffy. The thing is, is that these are original San Juan arcade control sticks. This is the official San Juan control stick from the arcade. So the sticks themselves, I'm not touching. I'm going to make sure that these stay in here. I can tell that they do have the four pound springs in there. So I'm keeping that for sure. The buttons, uh, it's going to kind of make me a little sad to get rid of them. I kind of do want to keep them, but we might have to fix out and change these buttons right here. I might throw on some different ball tops for the joysticks. Next problem is, is if I can open this up, I have to flip her around and yeah, there you go. So the kind of mode I'm in right now, I'm not gonna be able to zoom in. So I'm about to just pull the camera in. That's the current condition of these buttons. Now again, I'm getting this from an actual arcade board right here. This is an official arcade, so there's no telling something was spilt on this. I don't know what happened with this. But I do not want to get rid of my San Juan sticks. So it is what it is. We got to restore it. Clean 
before we got fully, fully, fully get ready to do everything to it. We got the sides already. So that's the top view section right there. We got everything cleaned off. I stripped off that whole top section, both sides, because we're getting ready to give her a whole new paint job. But I just figured it looked a lot more smoother, or a little bit more smoother at least, by me at least stripping everything back down to that basic board. And to be honest with you, I thought it was plastic, but it was actually a real good, actually real, real good paint that was on there, so pull that off and we're getting ready to give it a two-tone type paint job i'm thinking i'm gonna go with the blue and red or blue black and white i don't know yet so we're getting ready to go ahead and toy with that now so now that we are actually sitting in front of this right now what i want to do is decide if i want to put the tv in now so I'm gonna do a little bit of painting in here, but what we're gonna do is go inside and break down this TV real quick because I'm thinking that I need to actually set the TV in where I need to sit it at before I go any further with this painting on the outside of this. So let's figure that out. Okay, so after that, we got the TV mounted in. We just actually have um, four screws holding it in down here to the bottom one screw in each corner up there to the top. Now I'm getting ready to make a frame to go around the TV. I got all the measurements out for that one. So I'm looking at 25 and a half inches left to right. I got my little mark right there real quick. We're gonna make two of those, one for the bottom, one for the top. Let's go ahead and pull that back out. Good thing, because I wasn't paying attention at first. There was a good side and a bad side to this, and I did do the good side, so. Ready to make that work. 
work. Get ready to make it work. So to protect our screen as much as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and paint anything that's gonna go around the screen now. I'm not gonna damage the screen. It took me a long time to find anything that was just gonna be able to fit inside this board, so. I got another little special idea that just popped up in my head while I'm painting. So I'm gonna show you all that on the end. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna paint this inside backdrop white also. Okay, so I'm gonna have to apologize on y'all real quick, but we finished the full install on the screen and my phone died the whole time I was recording. And I didn't realize it, but that's where we are right now. This is just the first level of paint right there because I didn't want to do too much, but I want to do enough that I wasn't gonna damage my screen or mess up the screen. Well, I did that first level of paint to just cover some of that in the back. You'll see what I'm doing when it's done. But this right here, we got the LCD board. And there's a reason why I want it to be left right there in the front. That's so we can still use our controller for switching between signals and still have access to all our buttons for whatever reason we might need those for later on in the future. But they're still there. I had to go on ahead and level this out because I had to build a whole frame around that TV once we put that TV in. So... There we go, right there. I'm not even sure if I was able to capture us putting that TV in. I'm not sure if we was able to get that on film or on camera or not, but that's the TV after we've got it installed. 24 inch LCD 1080p TV. It's not gonna be 4K because there's no real reason I thought of that I was gonna need a 4K TV when I was getting ready to be playing games that was actually designed to be ran on a four by three aspect ratio, not even on the six, 16 by nine. So anyway, there you go. Screen installed. What I'm getting ready to do now is um, just throw a little bit of glue in right here and there on the tops of each side. Then I'm gonna go on ahead and seal that up and I'm gonna finish up all the painting on it later. Just another little tiny additive that I'm throwing on since I just happen to be down here anyway. What we're getting ready to do next is throw on the front bezel. That's gonna cover most of that up. Whenever possible, I try to use the same holes as before, therefore I'm not doing any more damage to the wood than what needs to be done. And then when doing that, I also make an effort to never fully tighten anything unless I really have to. And for the last piece of the task, we got one more last thing that's gonna cover up for the rest of the bezel. So I'll have to slap a little bit of glue on this one. Because she's gonna have to go up a little bit different. So. Uh, I'm gonna do it off camera, but pretty much I'm gonna take some glue, slap her down there. So I'm gonna take a step back from her now. Because I figure we're gonna work from top to bottom. First thing we're gonna do is come up here and make sure all these lights, the wiring to the lights is hooked up for the marquee. Also while we're up there, 
that HDTV that we put in there, we took the speakers from out of it. It was in these little brackets that was actually part of the case. This cabinet had no speakers inside of it, so all I'm gonna do to pretty much just match this for the basic first part of the speaker system is I'm gonna take the TV speakers that were originally in there and I'm gonna place those to where there were supposed to be speakers at for the arcade. Amazon just pulled up with the next piece of our package. He's getting ready to take it to the other house, y'all. He's getting ready to take it to the wrong house, y'all. It's okay. How's it going, bud? Told y'all he was going to the wrong house. So right here now, we got our glass from Lowe's. We went and we picked this up yesterday. So I already did my measurements. So that's how I knew what I needed with the wood. I needed them to cut this because I pretty much can't cut glass. I don't got nothing here to cut glass with. So let's go ahead and lay this out and see which side we're gonna use. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first ordered this, I realistically was expecting to get plexiglass. I did not know that it was getting ready to give me real straight glass. This right here. This is getting ready to be the glass. I measured it 27 by seven. And it's getting ready to be our marquee. Perfect size up and bottom. But we do have one little tiny piece we need to take out first. Do you have batteries for it? No. That's a camera. That's a camera? Yeah. The best little uh, yeah, hoop is down, down in there. It's what's, down what's, in there. What's that, buddy? That basketball um, uh, hoop is down in there. Yeah. That thing ain't coming out. Nah, I concreted that thing Your sister. in there. What do you want? 
He has dogs. This is just code one, the final code. We're gonna get some things like this right here. Spots. Got to buy a brand new brush. I should have bought a brand new brush, but the good thing is, is I brought a soft rolling brush. Well, I had a soft rolling brush for cabinets. So it should still give it the nice good texture that I'm looking for when it's done. All right, I had to take a little bit of break, go in and eat something. But we got both sides painted. I'm gonna fix that little corners on the bottom a little bit later. And I also went on ahead and painted the control board too. So we got the control board painted. I don't know how this angle is getting ready to show up on my camera. I'm flipping around all over the place right now. But yeah, we got that done. Nice and sunny outside. So we're going to come over here and we're getting ready to talk about these controls. As you see, there's a lot of crud inside here. So I already know I'm going to have to replace my buttons and these controls that is not going to be in this video right here. We're going to do that later on down the line. But um, everything seems to be pretty good except for this piece right here. I found one piece that's broken off. So I know for sure this is going to be the positive connection right here because all these other ones are tethered to each other. So I know those are going to be your negatives. This is going to be my positive and I'm going to have to fix that up. So we got some things that Got a little bent up in here. We'll fix that, we'll work on it. Really cruddy down in there. So what y'all think, man? I think she's getting there. Got her cleaned up, at least for the most part. Didn't do like a super clean up job on it, but just enough so I can make sure things is working, get to them. Something's telling me that I already know this is getting ready to be a lot of rewiring on this control board. I'm hoping not, but. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna slap this back on, but I do have one final piece that I want to put on that we can say my top is officially done. Someone tried to break into this, you can see, so they killed that. So this next part is not going to be that easy. I 
actually should be like that. Let's sit this back down for a second. Get our drill. Boom, we got it in. See if I can lock this controller down. So now we got the glass in. Now I just gotta lock this down so as people are playing it, it's not gonna open back up on me. Okay, so before we finish everything up for the night on this first part of the project, so I can get ready to start on the next one. Monster LEDs. Y'all know I put these on every single thing I own. I don't care if it's a bike. I don't care if it's a TV. I don't care if it's a controller. I don't care if it's a cord. I don't care if it's a button. Everything has to light up around my house. When I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, I want to feel like I'm walking through a twilight zone. But anyway, Monster LED, when you open up these packages, you're going to get something that pretty much is going to be wrapped up just like this. Put your wires and have a connection on the end of it. You're going to get you a control out the box. And you're going to get you this little manual right there. All going to be inside the little silver package. All right, y'all. So we've been out here since four o'clock this morning. This is the current look that we got going on. It's dark, street light just popped on on me. Should have been on a long time ago. I'm gonna point out real quick during the making of this video, last night, someone stole my bike. I'm a little crushed. It's all good. It was a little sentimental project that I had with the kids. They never got on it too much anyway. But not to keep y'all too long, here she goes. Finished project for the day, at least. Knock out some more footage from y'all tomorrow. So I'm getting ready to end this video. 
in my opinion I restored this outside of this cabinet to the fullest 24 inch LCD 1080p TV 120 Hertz and there you go so we went from the Raspberry Pi now we got the full arcade so now we're getting ready to see what all we can throw inside this machine right here so I think we could do something pretty dope to her. My first rebuild. All by me, you done watched it. All this was was a complete bare cabinet. Repainted her, rewired it, cleaned it up, cut some glass for the marquee. Now she's complete. I want to jump over to this time crisis. That's our next project coming pretty soon. But we can't get to that until we finish some of these other projects we got going on. So if you haven't seen none of them, jump onto the page. If you got nothing to do, if you're at work, you got 15 minutes on your spare time, 30 minutes on your lunch break, just come check out the video of mine real quick. Kick it with a nerd. And we're gone.